Oh, yes, I just got shiny pit of. No way. Um, I'm actually recording this. I was watching a video and I was doing a Zapdos raid. And let me switch to recording this. Just make sure that this works. <laughs> well, I got a live reaction. That was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Shiny pit of number three at my house. I, I'm gonna have to save this recording now, so I might just restart it on my phone because I was recording my badge quests. And yeah, my third shiny pit of, let's hope it's, I wanna say male. I think my other ones are both female. We caught it. That took uh, 262 checks. We can delete that. I do want to get both genders of unpheasant. So let's hope this is male. It's female. Gosh. Oh, man. Oh, no. I think they're all female. Plus pid dove and shiny. Oh, they're all female. Oh, no. Okay, well... I just gotta hope my next one's male, because that's the one I want more. I, might as well, I think I might as well evolve this one. I'll just evolve it right now, honestly. This is like its own thing, I guess. I will put this in probably the month of October, because I think October is in two days, and I already recorded the end of my last video. So, shiny Tranquil. Shiny male on Pheasant's way cooler, too, which is kind of annoying, but... <laughs> We, we needed one, I want both of them just to have both genders. So it's not like super necessary, it's just because I want a male one. But uh, here we go. Shiny female on pheasant, which is honestly not that interesting. It's kind of cool, but the male one with the purple mask is just way cooler. So yeah, um, I think I'll put this before my intro for that video. I don't know, man. Well. We'll figure it out, but until then, I will see you if I get any more shinies. Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Dominator here, and I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. It is the month of October. As you saw in the last clip, I was shiny hunting Clefairy for my Fire Red and Leaf Green badge quest, and I got a shiny pit of. So let's just take a look at that. We got shiny Unpheasant now. So. That's pretty cool. Not the male one. I still need a male. I got three females, which is unfortunate, but uh, hopefully we get a male one. I won't record it because it's a dupe, but you know, it'll be nice to have both genders, just like how it's nice to have both genders for Hippopotas, but whatever. We don't, we don't really care about that. Don't pay attention to all the Zapdos. I've been raiding hard for Zapdos and uh, just trying to get a perfect. I, I don't need it shiny. There's probably another video I have. I, I did Zapdos day, so that's, that's a video. You can check that out if you want to see me get a shiny Zapdos live. But uh, other than that, the only events we know that are confirmed are there's some like random event coming up next week. It's like it's like the Cricket Todd event and they have like top hat Curlia and Shinx and backwards hat Krogonk and I think it's like Bowtie Smoochum or something like that. It's like really stupid and honestly... I'm losing motivation with these stupid costumes, like, they're such a cash grab and they're such a, like, fear of missing out kind of thing. I'll probably grind for Curlia, just because I really like the shiny Ralt Slime, it's, like, one of my favorites. Um, if I get lucky for that, then sure, I'll try for Shinx, and then I don't know if I'm gonna try for Smoochum. It depends on how good the hatch rate is, honestly, and then Krogunk I can't see happening if it's full odds. Because it's like snapshot exclusive, but like will spawn a little bit wild. I don't know, it's weird. But shiny cricket tots coming out, so that's cool. And then uh I think we got the Halloween event. We know for they're gonna do for Go Battle League the last year's costume starters for Halloween. And they uh I I still need the Charmander. I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm not the best at Go Battle League and like you know, I have to specifically get Charmander, and it has to specifically be shiny. That's pretty hard to do. So, uh, I don't know about that. Other than that, uh, we know, obviously, Yamask is coming back for Go Battle League, which is cool. And, uh, there'll, there'll probably be more events. The main focus for me right now are the spotlight hours. We have the Pikachu 
two Pikachu spotlight hours, one with the original cap and one with, I think it's called the world cap. It's one that's not even in Sword and Shield yet, but they'll release it soon, I'm pretty sure. But uh, want to get those shiny. Hopefully the world one doesn't evolve. We know the, the original cap is going to evolve, but I'm going to try to go hard for those events. So hopefully we get those. Other than that, I think that is it. That's everything we know of as of now. So without further ado, I will see you if I get any more shinies. Oh, yes. Shiny Smoochum. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just kind of shouted. I'm by a road, but I hope I hope it's not too loud over here. Oh, let's go, dude. That only took a 12. That only took 12. Man, finally getting some good luck with these things. Got to catch it with anything but a Pokeball because it's Legacy. This is the first time we've ever seen a baby in either the wild or research or raids or anything like that. Normally they're hatch exclusive. So you get them at level 20, and you can only have them in Pokeballs. So, really cool. Legacy Smoochum. Pretty good IVs, too. My first ever shiny Smoochum. Hopefully they add normal Smoochum into eggs again, because I still need Smoochum and Jinx shiny. It's one of the few babies I need shiny, but... Yeah, we'll take it. Really cool. Really cool. So... I'm going to keep hunting. This is a really good event. Um, I'm actually like mad props to Niantic. I thought it was going to be all cash grab, but they put Smoochum in research and Krogunk is actually spawning quite a bit in the wild, which I thought it was going to barely spawn. So this event is a lot better than I thought so far. And yeah, hopefully we get some of the raid shinies and uh, Krogunk and Kricketot. So if I get any more shinies, I'll definitely see you then. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got an insane shiny. It's like Shortly after the smooch gem, I'm like waiting for the recording to stop finish. Oh my gosh. Shiny Krogunk with the hat, dude. This thing's full odds, I'm pretty sure. I, I No one's gotten it yet. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is insane. I can't believe it. And it's like being crazy right now. Jeez. I like lost my mind when I saw that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, we're popping off. We just need... The cricket tot, the Shinx, and the Curlia now. Oh my gosh, dude. This is what I wanted the most, this one right here. I want the Curlia next most, just because I love the shiny Ralts line. But uh, yeah, shiny Krogunk with the hat, the backwards hat. It's kind of a weird hat, but like, honestly, I got it shiny, so I can't complain. That only took 66 checks. We can delete that counter, and oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it. So again, if I get any more shinies, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys. Um, I just got a new shiny. I knew this would happen. These things are spawning everywhere, and I knew I'd get it at my house. But shiny Krikatot is my first. Hopefully, I get the second one live. Um, if not, I might just keep recording because they're spawning like nuts this event. And I've been going out to grind, trying to get some more smoochum tasks and whatnot, just to get a perfect smoochum and uh, do shinx raids and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, no luck so far on the cricket hunt until, of course, I get home. But, like, literally every half hour or so, I'll load my game up and there'll be, like, at least four cricket tots. So, it was bound to happen. And it's terrible IVs despite being weather boosted. So, that's neat. And, uh, yeah, if I get any more shinies, I will def. Oh, well, it took, it took 370. I think it was the third check. 375 encounters. So, I just need one more. Um, basically all I need from this event are Krikatot and Shinx because I got the Krogunk. Oh, I need Burmese. Yikes. But I need Krikatot and Shinx. Curlia isn't shiny for whatever reason, so not going to be really doing those anymore. I still have my counter, but whatever. I'll probably delete it later. But yeah, if I get any more shinies, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm hashing an egg, of course. Um, I was just... At my house, you know how it is, and I got another shiny. Now, it's a little weird right now because I'm on my little account. Um, as you can see, I ran from it because I wanted to record the sparkles, and I know it's not going to despawn because it literally just spawns, so it's got like at least a half hour before it despawns. But uh, this isn't it. I might as well just catch this. <laughs> I think you have an idea of what it might be. 
But here we go, shiny centret, just kidding. It's not a shiny centret. I'm clicking on literally everything except for the thing I wanna click on because that's how this game works. And here we go, shiny cricket time. <laughs> there we go. Number two, this time on the little, first one was on the main. Uh, got both of them in my house, not live of course, but I mean, what are you gonna do? I get a lot of spawns in my house. It's bound to happen often. So there we go, shiny cricket tot number two. This one is meh IVs. I'm gonna trade it over and I probably won't evolve it till the end of the video. I don't know though, it depends. But yeah, that completes the cricket tot line that took 182. A lot of people think this might be boosted odds. I'm not so sure. My first one took 375, my second one took 182. If it was one in 100, I'd have like five of them by now. So. Either I'm absurdly unlucky or it's full odds. And I think it's full odds and I'm getting just kind of lucky with it. So, <laughs> Plus they're spawning everywhere. So there's that. But uh, let's delete this counter. We're still looking for Shinx. Um, I'm 52 in on Shinx. And yeah, I don't know, man. I always go over odds on the limited time raid shinies. That's how it works. But uh, yeah, shiny cricket's at number two. And yeah, I will see you if I get any more shinies. Trying to catch all the like the 11 and 10 CP ones on my little. <laughs> oh, I got a shiny on my little. No way. I'm not recording this. <laughs> I just want all the viewers at home to know I'm not recording this because my little's prone to crashing and this is too important. <laughs> He's lying. You didn't get it. I'll show. I'll show. I'll show it later. Okay. You'll see. It's a female, unfortunately, but maybe if I get another one, that'll be the Raichu. I kind of want to transfer them. That's <laughs> same. Especially because my Charizards don't have. I might just give them to my little. Like I know. It's oh, like I got another shiny, dude! On my little. <laughs> okay, again, for the for the for the kids at home, I'm not gonna record it <laughs> because my little crashes too much and this is too risky. And I don't want to sit around here. Right, I'm not gonna run my. I'm not gonna run my. Uh, my little animal. Well, I might. I might just like catch them. I'm not. I'm not running. I'm not running AR anymore. <laughs> I don't need to. I can just catch them now. Okay, guys. Quick update. I just wanted to show you that I did in fact get two of the shiny Pikachu's during the spotlight hour yesterday. Um, I apologize. I couldn't record them. I got them on my little account, and my little my little phone just is not very capable of running. I, I probably explained this before. It crashes all the time. I don't want to risk recording when I have a sh I mean, I'm fine risking recording for some shinies, but this one was kind of a big deal because it was only for one hour. And you know, it's an event shiny event hat Pikachu. So I traded them both over. I think this one got uh, a little higher in CP and then this one stayed roughly the same. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, I might as well just evolve one now. But yeah, talking still about my little as you saw in the last video, I tried to record the shiny Do duo it got, and it ended up crashing. And I did—I just didn't want to risk that with this, so I just recorded my reactions, and then that was basically it. So there's shiny World Cap Raichu. I just wanted to prove that I got these, because, I mean, you know, who knows if I got them. And we'll do the rest of the evolutions later. I just wanted to, you know, point out that I ended up getting two of these. Unfortunately, they're both female. I like the male more. The Raichu doesn't really bother me. It's just a little notch cut out of the tail, but the Pikachu, I don't, I don't really like the design of its tail, so it's whatever, though. I'll still definitely take two shiny Pikachus. Hopefully, I get two more shiny Pikachus during the original Cap Spotlight Hour. I think I kind of did really well with these, and yeah, hopefully, we get some luck for that as well, so I don't have to worry about those anymore because I've wanted the original Cap shiny for a while, but the only events they've released them in was... Uh, a ghost snapshot event for two days you could get like five ghost snapshots of the original cat pikachu and it had a high shiny chance but you know it's you can't hunt it you just have to get lucky and hope your five to ten snapshots give you one and I, that didn't happen for me and uh the other time they released it was during a pokemon go fest event and they did a uh, shot not a shiny but they did an event hat pikachu every day for like the whole week and one of the days was the original cap so that was a full odds one that one was only available for a day and it didn't really spawn that much so it's one of the more rare shinies so hopefully i get that one too but yeah i just wanted to 
do a little update on the shiny Pikachu and Raichu with the World Cap. I'm very happy I got two of them, but yeah, just wanted to do some proof that I did in fact get them. I wasn't messing with you guys, and there, I will see you <laughs> if I get any more shinies. Oh my gosh, first raid, let's go. Shiny Giratina. I have no idea what's good for this, but probably not this, because I never get good IV legendaries. Very cool. Well, that took a total of one check. So that's neat. And we got 12 candies. And it's actually pretty good. We take that, so. If I get anything else, I will definitely see you then. Oh my gosh, no way. Shiny Vulpix. Bruh. There is talk that this might be boosted. I mean, I believe it. It took 20 encounters for my first one. So, uh, I'll need one more. Wow. Let's hope I get it. I'm literally at a campground right now and there's no stop, so I'm just walking around trying to click some Vulpix, so. We, we got it. Pretty decent IVs too. And I'm actually getting Shinies live, it's insane. So, if I get anything else, I will definitely see you then. Give me the Vulpix. Oh, let's go, dude. Shiny Vulpix. Ah. Literally leaving to go grind for shiny Vulpix. Yes. So I'm still I'm still confident this thing's boosted odds. They do boosted odds shinies for um for what do you call it? Uh like three-day events and whatnot. This is a three-day event. They usually do it for two-day events, but sometimes they do three-day events and they do boosted odds shinies. I believe this is a boosted odd shiny. That took, I think that was, okay, I did one, two, three. That was, I think, the fifth check, so, or the, there were two others. 113. My first one took 20. I have every reason to believe this is one in 100. They did it with Diglett. They did it with Ponyta and Cubone. They do it for a lot of, like, short events like this, so... I'm pretty sure it's boosted odds. I want I wanted to go out and grind to get one more and literally leaving my neighborhood, I got the last one. So yeah, we completed Vulpix. I don't know, I think the next event is the Halloween event, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know when that starts. So we'll figure it out. Hopefully shiny Yam Mask, hopefully they make Yam Mask spawn a lot more commonly than they did last year because it was a full odd shiny and it was pretty rare. So also, Costume starters in Go Battle League. I need Charmander. That's it. I doubt I'll get it, but whatever. We'll try. Uh, I'm trying to think what other... They could do Shiny Stunky. I'd be down for Shiny Stunky, and I think I think Shiny Hoot Hoot would be another cool option. They do. Maybe they spawn Zubat. I don't know. It's all up in the air. I have a feeling they're going to do something with Galarian Yamas, but I don't think it'll be Shiny, so we'll just focus on the regular, the regular Yamas Shiny. We don't know what kind of Pikachu they're going to spawn. Uh, I hope it's not the Mimikyu one because I just traded for it. I still need a witch one. So it'd be cool if they brought back the witch Pikachu and Pichu because, I mean, those are pretty hard. So, yeah, if I get any more shinies, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys, so tonight is the Pikachu spotlight hour number two with the original cap instead of the world cap. And we're going to basically do the same thing we did last time. I should take a screenshot of my decks. I forgot to mention how many I encountered last time. Also, why the heck is this still only female? They, they haven't fixed that yet. So, I did the math, and I think I had seen... I did do some trades, so it's not entirely accurate. But I did 
click, I think about 400 of them on just my main. And I ended up getting both the shinies on my little. So hopefully this time I get some shinies on my main so like you guys can actually see them, which would be kind of cool. But uh, I mean, I'm going to try to run my little. No promises with that because it, you know, it crashes way too much. And honestly, I tried using it the other day and it kept crashing. So hopefully it works again. It worked pretty well last time, but eh. No promises, we just gotta try to get some on my main. So hopefully we get at least two. Three would be cool because I can use it for trade bait. And yeah, no idea how I'm gonna get the Ash Hat Pichu, but you know, we'll figure it out down the, lo down the road. So I will see you if I get any shiny Pichus. So if I don't, then yeah, whatever. I probably won't even see this clip if I don't get any shiny Pichus. So if you see this, I probably got one. So yay, I'll see you then. Oh, I got a shiny dude on my little. What the heck? Is it straight too? Nope. Rip. They never are. I'll take it though. You know, again, the, the viewers yeah. at home, not gonna record it. It's too risky. This is too important. That was so fast though. Good stuff, good stuff. Now we just gotta get a second one. Oh, so choose. That's fine. I'm keeping capacity so people yeah. come. It's not a big deal. Exactly. Oh, I got one. Yes, and it's a butt tail, dude. Let's go. <laughs> I wanted the straight tail, but we got one on the main finally, dude. It was bound to happen. That's a lie. It probably wouldn't have happened. Yes. Now I just have to find out. Banger. Now I just gotta find out uh, how I'm gonna get Pichu because that's non existent and that'll never happen. So. No, one will trade that to you. no one will have that to trade me, even if Unless they will trade it. Some random drama. I'll mask on us. Is that a monkey? That is not a shiny spirit team. Oh my gosh, dude! From the research! From the special, From the special research! Oh my gosh! Bro. Bro! Dude, this thing's gotta be boosted. There's no way. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know what it was at first. Like, I couldn't tell because it was different color. Dude, that's insane. Bruh, oh my gosh. Oh, that was the one to get. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. That was like 15 shacks. 18 shacks total. Dude, there's no way. It's got to be boosted odds, and you're just unlucky. <laughs> should, no one else has gotten it. Oh my gosh, dude. And like decent IVs, too. Jeez. I can't. Okay, guys. I just stopped hunting for the day, and then the first thing I click on at my house shiny Lediba. Number two, this completes the line for me. We're not messing around. We're just gonna Golden Raz Ultra Ball. That took only 295 checks. My first one I think was pretty lucky. So really lucky with these ones. And yeah, I'm still like in shock that I got that Sableye shiny from the special research. I'm pretty sure it's a full odds one. And I've, I've gotten the worst luck with full odds research um, shinies and then I've never got a shiny from the special research, which is insane. So uh, that's insane. But just to add the cherry on top, we got a shiny Letty butt as well. So that's cool. So uh, yeah, if I get any more shinies, I'm, I'm going to go hard for the spirit tomb test. They're pretty easy to complete. And uh, hopefully we get a shot at costume Charmander and Gengar. So yeah. And yeah, I'm asked to, I need that too. But yeah, if I get any more shinies, I will definitely see you then. If it was like, you know, that pinkish red color, you know, it would make more sense, but yellow and protruding.
I wasn't. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Hold up. It didn't let me encounter the, the Gengar on my little, because I'm no GPS signal right now. Oh. Bro, it's shiny on my little, oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't recording too, of course, the one raid I didn't record. <laughs> Let me see. Nice, I'm, nice. I'm catching this fast. I don't want this thing to get... <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, that looks shiny almost. And I, was, I couldn't tell because it was outside and it's lighter out. Thank you, dude. I'll still do them on my main to help you guys if you need help, but I would prefer not to. How many did it take? That was two checks, so 24. Finally getting lucky with a 1 in 50 raid. So you need Spear Tomb and Yamask, really. And uh, Charmander. Oh, yeah. Charmander's gonna be the hardest one. I already yeah, know. Rip. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Oh, shiny Charmander, dude. I didn't think that would happen. No way, that was the third check. Oh my gosh. That only took 10. No way. Shiny Charmander, dude. I didn't get this one last year. This is the only one I needed from the set. And I was so glad they re-released them in raids. But little did I know, they were putting them in research too, as part of the normal Charmander, Swordle, and Bulbasaur tasks. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Now all I need from this event are two Yam Mask and a Spirit Tomb, which I'll be more than happy if I get a just a single Yam Mask, and then I, I really want a Spirit Tomb because I've already done like 40 tasks for that, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, 12, 12, 12, no big deal. It's going to get traded over anyway, but we got it, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, I got one more check. Um, if you see it, it'll be shiny. If not, then whatever. But if I get any more shinies, I will see you then. I think this might be perfect. It's also shiny, which is unfortunate. Bruh, this could have been Spirit Tomb. I know it doesn't matter, but I was so due for a 1 in 50, and then I just got this. It's not perfect. Of course it's not. Ugh. Okay, guys. Um, I just got an insane shiny. I, I ran from it because it's totally safe right now. Um, I have been doing my ghost snapshot encounters every day, trying to get shiny Yam Mask. And today I popped off the first encounter on my little shiny Yam Mask. There we go. This took exactly 500 encounters like on the dot. Unless of course I was inaccurate with my counting. But uh, yeah, I didn't think I'd get one of these this event. Now I just gotta get a spear tomb. I technically need two of these, but I, was, I kept saying if I get one of them, I'll be really happy because they're not really spawning that much and, you know, you got to be pretty lucky with them. So, yeah, shiny Yam Mask, Halloween exclusive. I mean, if I get one more, then that's just insane. And if I get a Spirit Tomb, I, really, I just really want Spirit Tomb. I'm 80 tasks in on Spirit Tomb with no luck just yet, but at least we got Yam Mask in. So, there we go. It's bad IVs. It doesn't matter. It's going to get traded over, so it'll probably go up. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy I finally got Shiny Yam Mask. Did not think this was going to happen. And, yeah, I mean, hopefully I can get Spear Tomb. I'm going to try pretty hard for it. And if I get any other Shinies, I will definitely see you then. Three Spear Tomb checks. That's not Shiny. That's awful, too. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes, we finally got it! Let's go! Oh! All I need from this event is an extra Yam Mask, which honestly, even if I don't get it, I don't care! Oh wait, this isn't 100% catch rate. 
We'll catch it in a Pokeball, though, because we're savage like that. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, that's that was the second shack. Let me just... 82. 82, so over odds. But we finally got it. That's so sweet. And we caught it with a Pokeball, which is funny because I'll chuck, like, Raspberry Ultra Balls at these things, and they break out all the time, so... Really cool, finally, shiny spear tomb. It's pretty bad IVs, but like, honestly, I don't care. Maybe I could lucky swap it, that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, let's see, I got one more check. Back to back? No, not back to back, okay. But we got, we finally got the shiny. I'm so happy about that. Oh, oh and we're checking to mine them, apparently. Dude, no. no. I will go in the vote. All right, what's the first one gonna be? It's a lit -like. It's a spear, dude, it's a shiny spear tomb. This is the one I got last night. <laughs> Dude, I'm just you're gonna, nuts. I'm just going to go. That's it. I don't want to deal with this. All right, Adam's done. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, see you guys. Bro, I broke out of a Golden Res Ultra Ball. I caught the la the one yesterday in a Pinat Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, this isn't 100% catch rate. And I was like, whatever, I'll just check a Pokeball at it because it's not going to run. And it got caught first ball. I'm like, <laughs> I chuck Golden Res Ultra Balls at these things and they break out. I almost messaged you yesterday because I... Line this, this is, I, I think threw this is better a than my last one. ball at a spear tomb just to watch it break out, and of course it, it gets get caught. caught. <laughs> All right, two more. One, this one's guaranteed spear tomb. Eight eight five, bruh. I've gotten through four eight eight sixes and eight eight five and eight eight two. No eight eight eights though. Eight fifty eight. Oh boy, twelve seventy five. Really cool. A drowsy increase friendship. Let's go. A shiny dude. Main. Awful. Yeah. I, that, that's my little got a 1307. Are you kidding? <laughs> 98. That would, would have been a good shiny. <laughs> Where's my shiny? I only have three. So Yo, why am I pinapping the shinies? Let's be real. Because <laughs> pinaps are easy to do. True. Look at the fat swan climbing. Okay, guys, the month of October is over, and this is probably going to be a long video. I got so much, so let's go to Shiny. Where is this event even starting? Oh my gosh, all the Charmanders. When did this event start? It was... It had to have been the freaking whatever this... What was this event? It was like some fashion event. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We ended up getting shiny smoochum, was really cool from a research task. I'm so glad they put these in research tasks. It made it so much better. And it's actually pretty decent IVs, so like, not bad. Can't evolve it though, but I honestly don't care. I'd rather not try to grind for multiple. Uh, we got shiny Krogunk, which blew my mind because I didn't click on that many. I only clicked on like 60 to get the shiny. And this is such a cool one too. Just Krogunk as a shiny is pretty cool. The hats, that's like whatever, I don't care about the hat. Uh, moving on, we got a random shiny Ralts. We got two Krikatots now. I've heard reports that Krikatot was boosted odds, and honestly, it makes sense, even though I didn't seem to get too lucky with it. I clicked on probably 400 and got two. So, yeah, pretty cool. Then, we killed it with the spotlight hours we got both shiny world cat pikachus and i evolved them into raichu as you saw because i you know i got them both on my little my little was lagging laggy crashy all that stuff pretty awful so i didn't want to record it so i showed that i got one and i evolved one so there's that and so yeah, we got both the Raichus, and then we also got both the Pikachus. So here's one Pikachu and two Pikachus. They're all female, which I personally don't like the female as much, but honestly, whatever. I'm just glad to get these like really rare Pikachus out of the way. Even though they are re-releasing the World Cap for the next event, I doubt it'll be as easy to get. Normally for the week-long events, they barely spawn. <laughs> like, let's be real. Every time there's a limited time like hat shiny or event exclusive like Yamas or something like that, it's one of the Pokemon that spawns the least amount, so I'm glad I got it, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, yeah, then we got first encounter Shiny Giratina, and it was a 91%. It's 15 attack, too. This is like my best IV Giratina origin form, I'm pretty sure. I might max that eventually, because it's pretty cool. And uh, then we got a second Timber from a raid. I did not get this live, but I think I recorded the catching of it because it was like the one timber that I couldn't record. And of course it ended up being shiny. 
And then I finally ended up trading over the really old one from I, a few months ago that I got on one of my little accounts because I was just waiting to get one of my main. So we traded that over, finally got a second timber. Then we got way too many Vulpix because Vulpix was most definitely boosted odds during its event. So I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There might even be more after the Charmanders. Charmander community, we don't give a crap about that. That was, that was it. So it was just six shiny Vulpix, but I mean, still, it's kind of insane. Then uh, we got, you know, Charmander Community A. We got random shiny Pineco. We did a lucky trade for a Zangoose. I'm trying to get all the lucky shiny regionals, so I do lucky trades for them. Assuming I already have one, I'm not going to trade for one I don't have. Then we got a random shiny Patch Rat at my house. Like, a lot of these I didn't record because they're whatever. It was pretty good IV, so I evolved it. Random shiny Drowsy at my house. Then the Halloween event happened, and honestly, I wasn't too excited about the Halloween event based on what they were doing, but I popped off with it. I got this shiny... This was the craziest thing. I got this shiny Sableye from uh, the Special Research, which is the first ever shiny I've gotten from Special Research, let alone a full odds one. Like, it was insane. And on top of that, this was the first ever full odds research shiny I've gotten that was under odds. I've gotten, I think, like, five of them. Let's see. Let me just search research really quick because I name them. Research. Okay, I've gotten six total. This one had to have been... I wasn't keeping track, but this one had to have been, like, 700, 800 encounters. This one was, like, 600 to 700 encounters. This one was 500 encounters. This one was, like, 900 encounters, I think. And then this one was... I want to say this was, like, 1,300 encounters. That was my most recent one. And then, fi and then the, the Sableye was just, a, it was like 100 on the nose, I'm pretty sure. 100, not this one, that's not the one. Uh, yeah, it was like 100 on the nose. My luckiest full odds research shiny and my first ever special research shiny. So that was absolutely insane. Then uh, got a Lediba. I think I mentioned this early in the video, but I recorded it. And then I think I deleted the recording, so... My, my phone was getting full on storage and I had to delete recordings and I guess I just messed up and deleted one that had a shiny in it. So we got a, sh a second shiny Lediba. So that's pretty cool. Then Drifloon Day happened. We somehow only got two of them. I don't know how that happened. They were like one in a hundred and they were spawning everywhere. But we don't really care. Uh, we have too many of them. Then I got shiny costume Gengar. It was like the one raid I didn't record on my little that got the shiny so that was kind of funny. I have the reaction for it, and I think I have the recording of me catching it. But yeah, shiny costume Gengar. Then uh, we got a random shiny Gassy at my house. That's not really important because, you know, it's got a community day now. It doesn't, not interesting at all. Then I got the shiny Charmander, the one shiny costume I needed from research, which was insane. I actually popped off with the costume starters this event. Last year, they were only available in raids, and I went so hard for them and only got two. Then this this year, I wasn't even really trying, and I ended up getting all three all from different methods. I got the Charmander from Research. I got the Bulbasaur from a raid. I think I recorded this, too. I was trying to get a Spiritomb. And then I hatched the Squirtle, which I didn't record the Squirtle. There wasn't anything I needed from the eggs, so I wasn't recording them. It was the first costume star, the only costume starter I've actually hatched this event, and it was shiny. I didn't even notice it until after the gift wrap thing happened, and it showed the green shell, and I was like, that is insane. Um, yeah, so we popped off with the starters. We popped off with Darkrai, but honestly, none of them are really good IVs. I think this is my best IV shiny one, and it's like, whatever. Honestly, we don't care about Darkrai. I've, I've gotten shiny Darkrai in the past, so that doesn't matter. Um, then we, we finally got shiny Spiritomb. This was, uh, this took 82 tasks, I think, and then for Marowak Raid Day, I ended up getting a second one, and it had to have been like five or six tasks after the first one, which was, you know, well-deserved, because I had done over 100 tasks by then. Um, well, total, not by then. It was probably like 90 tests by then, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got two shiny spirit tombs. We got a second shiny Sableye that was, uh, random when I was out to dinner. I kind of can't believe I got that. Shiny Marowak raid day. It was a one in 10 chance. I did 36 raids and somehow only got one of them. So I was just really unlucky, but honestly, I don't care. I have a bunch of these. I just wanted a perfect and I didn't get that either. So yay. Uh, I mentioned the costume Squirtle. I got a random Shuppet, a random Grimer at my house. I just got a Darkrai today. That's not important. And then 
I got a shiny Yam Mask from one of my Ghost Snapshot encounters, which was insane. I didn't think I was going to get a Yam Mask this event. They really weren't spawning enough, but yeah, like I kind of killed it. Like I got a full odds special research shiny. I got the Charmander from a Tass, Bulbasaur from a Raid, Squirtle from a Hatch. I got the Yam Mask from the Ghost Snapshot encounter. Like what the heck? A full odds Ghost Snapshot encounter. I've only done that one other time and it was with a Krabby, which was not interesting at all. But uh yeah, I can't believe I didn't get Mischievous, because Mischievous was everywhere from that Ghost Snapshot thing and not Yamask, but yeah, there's actually a Yamask in my house that I know. There's actually two. Let's check these really quick before uh, before I go. This one is not shiny. Is it going to get caught? Of course it's not. But uh, yeah, this is probably going to be a longer video because we got to do some evolutions and yeah, we, got, we just popped off with shinies. We really did, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get a second Yamas. The event ends at like nine o'clock tonight, and I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I've done plenty of grinding, so that was I checked on my little too, so that was four checks. 123 Yamas, not terrible. Like next year, I'll probably get one. I I didn't think I'd get one this year, and it was a pleasant surprise. So let us evolve some shinies. So here we go. We're not evolving Charmanders. I don't give a crap about that. Let's start with, I guess, the Cricketot. So I believe I want to evolve the 317 CP one. Yes, I do. So here we go. Cricketot over to Cricketune. Really cool shiny line. It's it's kind of a shame. Like, I don't understand Niantic's reasoning behind. Like, they don't know how to balance shiny odds for some reason. They make this stupid common Pokemon that spawns all the time, as in Cricketot and Vulpix. They give them a week-long event and make them a 1 in 100 shiny chance. Still a really cool shiny, by the way, Cricketune. Um, they give them a 1 in 100 shiny chance, even though they spawn all the time normally, and are like they're common spawns, and they had a week-long event. Same with Vulpix. Vulpix is everywhere. Let's evolve a Vulpix. So we got this one. That one's actually pretty good IVs. That was the first one I got. And we got this one sucks. This one's whatever. We got to evolve Pikachu too. We got that one sucks. That one sucks. I guess we just evolve like the first one because that one seemed to be the best IVs. But yeah, so they do these events where they're like week long. I think Vulpix was like a 10 day thing because it was like a two part event. One was like a three day event and the other one was a week long. And there was a one in a hundred shiny chance and it was stupidly easy to get. But then they do also amazing shiny by the way. But then they go and do the Halloween event where they have shiny costume Sableye and shiny Yamask, which are Halloween event exclusives, and they are full odds and barely spawn. Like, I don't understand their reasoning behind these. It makes no sense to me. Um, moving on, though, we're going to evolve the slightly better IV Timber because they're both pretty trash. Um, hopefully, I can, like, lucky trade one or something if I get a third one and I can get a like a free good IV shiny Conkledur, that'd be pretty cool. But I gotta get one more for that. So there's Girder, freaking Ronald McDonald clown nose guy over here. It's one of the weirdest shine, like one of the weirdest Pokemon, honestly. <laughs> All right, um, going over to the special Pikachus. Holy crap, that thing's awful IVs. I think I'm just gonna evolve this one, even though it's like, look, this one's like actually good IVs. So. We'll just evolve this one, going over to shiny original cap Raichu. Also, I'm curious if they they said for the next event in November they're gonna have Pichu hatching from eggs, but they had an asterisk by his name. I wonder if they're giving it the original or the world cap on it because there's an original cap Pichu, but not an original or not a world cap. Oh, I get so confused with these hats. There's an original cap Pichu, but not a world cap Pichu currently. Um, also currently original cat Pichu is like the second rare shiny in the entire game because it was only available through 7Ks for a one day event and you only had 20 shots at it, assuming you got 20 eggs from your gifts. So that was a really rare one, not to mention it was just in the pool, it wasn't like a guaranteed hatch. Um, the first, the first ever rare shiny in the game is shiny detective Pikachu because that's ultimately a glitch, but you, but the way it worked was you basically had one shot at a full odd shiny Pikachu and that was it. So that is currently the rare shiny in the game. And then original cat Pichu is the second rarest, but, uh, we got these two 
And that's all that matters. Hopefully they do an event for original Cat Pichu eventually. I really hope they don't release World Cat Pichu because I most likely won't get it. But uh, moving on, we have Ledibuff. I'm going to have to do plus Ledibuff for that. Is there anything else I have to evolve? I don't think so. It's just the Ledibuff now. So plus... Le oh. I guess I could have had the search option up there, but I can't type. And this this new feature, it like you backspace and it kicks you out of the keyboard. It's really annoying. Plus Ladiba. Okay, so we got these two. Um, wow, this is like really good PvP evies if it wasn't Ladiba, but we'll just evolve the bigger one. So, going over to Shiny Ledian, really cool. We really killed it with this event. I also have to update my shiny checklist. I haven't done that all month because I wasn't sure what they were going to release. But there's shiny Ledian. It's actually kind of cool with like the blue eyes against the orange. It's pretty sweet. I think they normally get blue eyes, but yeah, they do. It just looks cooler up against the, the orange. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.